features that I really like uh, on this sunshade are the curtains to begin with. Um, right now, this one's rolled up and sewed neatly. Uh, it's got these twist lock fasteners. So go ahead and release. Um, then it drops down really nicely. I also added a little two inch webbing pocket down here uh, to be able to insert a dowel in there so it'd be easy for one person to raise and drop uh, this curtain. Um, the dowel that I put in there ended up breaking so this is gonna be a little bit floppy. Um, but the next thing I wanted to talk about um, is these really cool reinforcing patches. Um, you can see right here um, this is a layer of shelter right and then a layer of Dacron so they both add strength. Shelter right is pretty thick to sew through and Dacron is uh, nice and easy to sew through. So I added um, both of those different kinds of materials to add strength. Um, I also made the patches into an octagonal shape, uh, which was recommended by the Canvas for Cruisers book. And I really, really love it uh, because since then I've tried to do a couple of circular patches on other projects and I realized how um, un graceful and unelegant they are. So I really like the, um, the straight lines afforded by the uh, octagon. octagon. <laughs> um, all right, so the other cool element that makes this really beefy is anytime I went through a ring here, I actually folded that webbing back on itself um, and then uh, sewed it to the top uh, of, the, of this patch. So these patches are really, really strong. Uh, if any of these seams start to go, there's going to be a lot to reinforce it. So it's going to be a while, hopefully, until I have to restitch any of these. I also use Lifetime Thread, PTFE. Um, it's actually not Tanera, but uh, another company uh, that SailRite recommends. And uh, I use a number 16 needle, and it's it was awesome. I had maybe like two or three skip stitches um, throughout the whole project. So it was really not too bad. Um, the last element I want to talk about are these little um, flaps I made right here uh, to uh, bridge that sun barrier between each curtain panel and also make it a little bit more watertight when it's raining. So I just added a little flap. I don't know if I can demonstrate it with only one hand so you know you get the idea this flaps over and connects there um, and then this whole curtain on the uh, starboard side becomes one long shade. So I'll give you guys a real quick look uh, of the sunshade from the street view with uh, four of those curtains dropped. Um, but essentially that's what she looks like and uh, like I said we're really happy with it. Right now I'm making our aft portion of the sunshade so that uh, we'll be fully protected from the sun uh, back in the cockpit when we're at anchor. Um, and in case you haven't made a sunshade yet, um, I just wanted to show you this trick that the Canvas for Cruisers book recommends, which is using string to simulate the edges of your fabric and then measuring that string. Uh, it's nice because you can get a really nice level of tension, uh, which you can't really get if you're measuring by yourself with just a uh, measuring tape. So I'm gonna be working on that next and hopefully I'll have an update uh, on that end for you guys. And uh, until next time, thanks for uh, tuning in and uh, we'll get back to you soon with any new projects any new developments and uh, talk to you soon.